If you're about to list a new Airbnb property or have already listed one, watch this video. I'm going to teach you how to get maximum income from your property immediately and we're going to use reviews to get there. All right, welcome back Airbnb family. Yes, today we're talking about reviews and how to get them. See, we all know that when a customer is going to book a property, they look at the presence of reviews, they want good ones, and they want some to let them know that this is an established listing and it's safe to stay there. So how do we get there, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use a few techniques that we use to activate the listing, get a booking the same day, make it a short booking, and get a review, and get it posted immediately. It only takes a few things. So first thing is first, is it's price driven. When somebody's looking for a last minute stay and they don't care where they stay, they just need a place for the night, they're going to go with the cheapest opportunity. So what you do is as soon as your listing is posted, take today and tomorrow and lower those rates really low. You might do it for only 30 or $50. That way somebody's going to book same day. Now this is better than the alternative that a lot of you have proposed, which is that you're going to tell a friend, book my listing and I'll give you a refund and then leave me a review. See, you don't make any money that way. And plus, it is against Airbnb's review policy. You cannot be buying reviews to establish your listing. They find out you're doing this, you're going to get in trouble. And one of our viewers had somebody call them out on this, and they actually called me concerned that this was going to shut their business down. Thankfully, nothing bad came of it, but he did have a, a, a brush with danger there, and it, it made him uneasy. So do not buy your reviews. The lowering your rate for today, tomorrow, the next day down to $30, $50 should be enough to get you a listing um, booked same day and for the next day. What this does is because the price is so low, people booking last minute will take their one day or their two night stays and they'll fix their problem, which is I don't know where to stay tonight. You won't get a, a month long booking on your first booking anyway, or a week or a week and a half long booking on your first booking because you lowered the first two nights rate, right? You'll be fine. And by doing this, you'll get a flurry of one or two day long stays which means your calendar is going to be mostly full, I mean mostly mostly open, but you're lowering your rates to get the last minute bookings. You could even take advantage of the 20% off um, offer that they give you for the first three stays, but you want to modify the way that you use it to make sure that you really get in the bang for the discount you're giving. See, the whole point of getting your first three guests is to get reviews. Now, if somebody gets a 20% off coupon, they're going to take action on that, but they might take action on future dates, like a week and a half or two weeks from now. That means it's going to take you multiple weeks to get that review. You don't want to be giving 20% off when you could be getting full rate, right? You want to avoid that. So take your calendar, open it up for maybe 10 days, and then use the 20% the off coupon, and then do last minute discounts. And so what will happen is your first few bookings will come today, three days from now, and a week from now, something like that, and they should be shorter stays. That way you get to take advantage of getting many reviews inside that 10 days. So now when the guest is arriving, we do this with all of our new listings, which is we communicate them and say, hey, you are our first guest, welcome. We would like to ask if there's anything you think is missing or could be improved upon, we'd like you to let us know once you're there, okay? If we forgot something like the toaster, you'll just tell us. Also, call me if you need help checking in. This is a self-check-in property, but of course I am here for you. As all of you know, all of our properties are self-check-in. But when we list a new property at a new building, we need to make sure that our checking uh, instructions are perfect and easy to follow. So we follow up these guests to make sure that they had an easy time checking in. What's great about that is your communication is A+, plus, and they're going to give you five stars for your attentiveness and your communication. So you might even want to do that in all of your reservations if you want to get a lot of five-star reviews. So the guest arrives, they love the check-in because you were attentive. Everything's good because the property's new. The furniture should be new. There shouldn't be any messes from a previous guest. Everything's good there. And now when they check out, you're going to give them a message. And that message says, thank you so much for staying and being my first guest. I'm looking forward to leaving your review. This is ambiguous enough that it implies that you're going to leave them a positive review, but you're not baiting them into leaving you a positive one by saying, I'm leaving you a positive review, leave it back. That would look cheap and Airbnb may not like that either. So. When you do it like this, we find that if we've left this message after somebody's already checked out, they almost immediately hit the review button and review us also because they have this sense of reciprocity and they want to make sure that they in return get a good review from us so they go and preemptively leave us a good review, right? So simply state, thank you for being my first, uh, first guest. 
in the future, hey, Sam, thank you for being a guest. Uh, it was a pleasure to host you. I'm looking forward to leading your review. It's a great message. Now that they've left you a review, you want to review them immediately back. The reason why is Airbnb hides all reviews for two weeks until the point that both the guest and the host can review each other. Once that's done, you're able to unlock the review per se. So a guest checks out three days into your listing being up, they leave you a review, you review them back, and bang, your review is up. You do this with the next couple of guests and you already have a few reviews. And this can be done inside of a week. So now, once you have those few reviews that the 20% off coupons expired, you can completely open up your calendar again and start offering to pretty much everybody in the world. Now, manage your prices effectively using one of our previous videos on pricing strategy, and you should be able to maximize your single night revenues, but also encourage a majority of longer stays, which keeps your calendar more full. So combined our revenue, our, our review tips and our pricing tips, and now you're maximizing your income. Thank you for watching Airbnb Automated, and I'll see you on the other side.